Hi guys! So, um, I decided to put out a special love reading here because um, I cracked myself up. Well, the cards cracked me up. When I did my initial Taurus season reading and I talked about love, I was so entertained when I was like, you know what, somebody's coming back from the dead. And um, I didn't realize it when I did the reading that it's actually, we're headed into Venus retrograde. So not only is Taurus ruled by Venus, Venus retrograde is upon us. Now Venus is all about love and nice things. And um, so a Venus retrograde does bring back people from the past. And I was like, wow, that was confirmation. And I was so amused by this. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do a special love reading. Um, because you know what? Why not? Um, it's fun and why do people come for readings most of the time anyway? Because they want to know about their love lives, right? So let's take a look and see what's going to happen. I absolutely stand by my prediction that somebody from the past is coming back. They are. Um, but I wanted to give some more insight. So I'm going to approach this from a few different ways. I'm going to talk to those of us that are completely single. Um, those of you in something that's maybe not the healthiest situation and then those that are in something healthy. Um, but let's just say Venus retrograde right into like Gemini season June time. There's going to be a lot of action. So love lives are not going to be dull. I definitely don't feel that way at all. Um, let me start with those that are. Let's talk about this person from the past coming back in. So, um, and I feel this might happen even if we're in relationships. Now, I feel like this is going to happen more so if you're in a relationship that's not healthy. Um, there's going to be a lot of surprises this Venus retrograde. So, we have somebody from the past coming back in. Now this person, and this is a Taurus led card, which is funny, I feel is coming back in anytime now between Taurus and Gemini because I get a nice summertime June kind of energy from this card. So it's very soon. You have somebody coming back from the past. Now, this is one or two scenarios. Either first, this person is coming back in with very genuine, um, genuine intentions. They're a very good person. They think very highly of you and in fact I feel like this person has always valued you but they've kind of kept you over here because I feel like they've been in a committed relationship or a situation and it's prevented them from they're a person of integrity so they would not step out I don't feel like they would cheat on their person so their focus was on their prior commitment, but they always, always like held you aside and like thought very highly of you and kind of watched you from a distance as they worked out their path with this other person. Now, unfortunately, I feel like this committed relationship that they've been in has come to an end. And it doesn't look like it was a very pleasant one. In fact, I, I don't know the exact circumstances here, but this person has been suffering emotionally. Um, they Their heart is aching or has been hurt. And they still may very well be wounded when they show up to reconnect with you. So they still may be working through some of those heavy emotions of loss. Um, there's definitely a feeling of loss here. I don't know. I mean, they could have even lost their partner. I don't know. Um, but there was definitely emotional devastation here. But they're coming back in um, from a place of integrity. They, they, it's a genuine, um, heartfelt want, uh, want. They want to connect with you. They want to um, establish a connection with you. And they see that you're doing very well. And this is going to be a complete surprise to you. You're not expecting this at all. And um, it feels very positive to me. Now, on the flip side of that coin, this could be somebody coming back in that completely devastated you, okay? This could be someone that truly hurt you because it feels like it's somebody that you thought had potential to be there forever. Like you were going to try to commit to this person and you were very happy to be with them. Like there was this happiness there, but 
To your surprise, the relationship didn't head in that direction at all. There may have been something you didn't know about this person and discovered, or you there was like a third party situation, they were cheating or there was somebody else, but this thing totally fell apart and not at all what you expected. You, you expected this to be like a very, like somebody you were going to settle down with and they totally uh, ripped your heart out. I do feel at this point, you, you're pretty much over it. I think you've recovered from it, um, but it did leave you feeling in this like five of pentacles energy. Like that's a really rough, rough energy. So this person's coming back in and um, I feel like when, if this is the scenario and this person devastated you, this person is coming back in to offer you something. They want to offer you something in the way of like either an apology or they want to offer you rationale, like a reason. They want to explain why things went the way they did before. Regardless, it's going to surprise the hell out of you when either one of this, whatever the scenario is, you're not expecting it at all. It's gonna completely take you off guard. You're shocked, totally shocked, but you're gonna be gloating a little bit. So either you're gloating because you're over this ass that left you high and dry and with a broken heart and you're like, ah, oh, good, you should be coming back in. Or you're going to be gloating because you're like, wow, I didn't realize this person thought this way about me. Like there's just this gloating type happy energy about this. So I feel good about that. Now, here's where things get a little bit interesting. So um, I'm going to keep talking like I'm talking to the singles right now. So you have this element of a past person coming back in, but here's where things get interesting. Just by chance, you're going to have a second option. You're going to have the decision between two people. You have your person from the past, that's coming back in to offer you something, but then you have this other person here. Now, this other person coming back in equally, you have no idea, you're not looking. This is a complete random surprise. Universal setup, it's completely by fate that you either your paths cross, so it's like right place, right time, or just right circumstances. It's like just the right timing for whatever reason I'm kind of getting there. So it's sudden, quick, all of a sudden now, you might not have anybody around you, now you got two. Now you got two, one from the past, one from the future. So um, this second person that's coming in, now the person from the past, I feel like is going to make his intentions very known, or her, sorry, or his or her intentions known. I feel like you know like this is definitely a romantic connection. Um, even if you know it's not the healthiest decision or whatever, I feel like you know what that is. The person coming in that's unexpected, I almost get for some of us, this person's coming in around like business. So either you meet this person through work or they want to offer you something in terms of a business partnership or relationship. There's something here in terms of work or maybe you just meet them at work, I don't know. But this energy feels King of Pentacles is slow and methodical and there's nothing fast with this card. So I feel like with this person, it's almost like you um, explore this a little bit before you take it to a romantic level. Like it comes in as like maybe a business partnership or a friendship. Maybe you're just friends to begin with and then maybe slowly works its way up to a romantic level. But I feel the element of these two people around and not that you're playing the field, but you're trying to see like who's gonna walk the talk, who's who's got more potential here or more serious or is at, meets us at our level. So I do feel the element of two people here and complete surprise by both of them because I feel like a lot of us, we're very focused on ourselves, our money, our priorities, our health. We're maybe not even focused on love right now. And even if we are, there's a lot of surprises here. Now, for those of us that are in something, this also is two ways. Let me touch on the people that are in a healthy something because this is the, this will go quickly. If you're in something healthy, 
these circumstances around us, the current events certainly have all shaken us all to our core, but you are trying to find the positive of this. So I feel like your relationship is growing in that now you're looking over your options for the future and trying to determine how you can stabilize um, not not your relationship from an emotional perspective because I already feel that emotionally you're solid and secure but now you're looking at like growth in terms of financially and stability and your comforts what do you want to do looking over your options do you want to sell your home do you want to invest in property do you want to um, maybe start a home business you're taking your relationship to another level in terms of what you want to do going forward. Maybe you want to start um, exploring life, learning something new. Maybe you both like are interested in something and want to learn more, or maybe you want to start traveling more. Like you're going to start looking at other things, like bringing in other elements to your relationship. So that too, you know, you could be turning your romantic relationship into a business relationship too. For those of you who have been in a relationship that has been unstable, I feel like these things are getting ready to leave. So either because of the circumstances around us, your already unstable relationship that was built on a rocky foundation is coming to an end. So either there's been some arguments or some things said, or you've discovered some stuff about your partner that just at the end of the day, you're not going to make it through. And that is actually going to be a blessing in disguise for you with these two cards. That's what that says is a blessing in disguise. So even though it might be very painful to initially go through, it's actually going to open up the door for a blessing here. And I feel like those of us in these damaging unhealthy relationships have the element of two people as well not that you're looking but i do feel like again there's this turn of events that brings in another potential partner for you now for you this also could be somebody from the past um but it could be very much somebody new because the person from your past might be the person you're already dealing with so again could be through your work could be through somebody that you know I do get a strong business connection with this one so um, again unexpected you're not looking complete surprise but leaving this toxic situation that you've been in I know you've been trying to uphold a commitment and um, you know try to find the best in the situation but by leaving this behind leaving the heartache behind you're opening the door for one of the best relationships where this new person coming in is not only financially stable and more solid and grounded he also can open up emotionally and i feel like a lot of us in these unhealthy relationships have not been supported by our partners we've been you know kind of carrying the load for the both of us here emotionally maybe even financially in some situations and um just know that some of the best relationships are are forming right now i keep seeing that when i do these collective readings and also when i do private readings too i see some of the most beautiful relationships coming in right now despite all the craziness around us and maybe that's why they're forming because people realize like stop wasting time and be more vulnerable to allowing ourselves to um you know allowing ourselves to explore and welcome a higher level relationship because I feel like that's what's trying to come in no more a lot of us are getting rid of these like um these relationships that aren't going anywhere like we're tired of wasting our time with people that aren't walking the talk or aren't at meeting us at our level if you can't bring something to the table we're moving it on forward and that's what I see a lot of people doing right now and so that's just opening the door for some of the best relationships here so Venus retrograde season so again that's Taurus into Gemini season so that's May into June 
I feel like it's not going to be dull in terms of our love life. And there are going to be some sudden, unexpected changes, some pleasant surprises, maybe some unpleasant surprises, but just know that that's going to bring in some of the most positive, positive relationships and beautiful, um, beautiful connections. So I'm going to wrap this up here. 15 minutes. I'm getting better every time, guys. All right. So uh, I wish you all well. And certainly if you want to share your stories, if this resonates at all, feel free to reach out. And if you'd like a private reading, um, you can find me at www.chrissymtarot.com. Thank you.